Good day. This week we are going to look at some questions. You know, oftentimes I'm encountering people and they come with some good valid questions with regards to their walk with God and understanding who God is. And uh, I want to go through a couple of those questions this week. And the first question I'd like to ask is or answer is, does God use suffering or negative things to get our attention or teach us? Well, the first question I'd like to respond to that question is, did Jesus do that? Do we see Jesus using suffering to teach anybody a lesson? And I can't find that in the Gospels. I do find Jesus coming up with solutions for people who had problems. But I don't ever see Jesus being the one who is using suffering to try and teach somebody a lesson. Nor did he even say anything like that in the Gospels. One of my favorite um, scriptures is James 1.13. It says, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am being tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, nor does he tempt any man. The word tempted there is a word which means to be tested, to be tried, scrutinized, or even pressured. It also has a reference to adversity. And unfortunately for many people, they don't even understand this in the terms of the New Testament and the Old Testament. Under the Old Testament, man, it was very different in terms of the way that God dealt with people who, had no, who didn't have the Spirit of God within them. If you're a believer and you have the Spirit of God within you, God is not going to be using you to try and test you, to try and squeeze you, to try and pressure you to get your attention. No, God uses His Word and God is only good and perfect towards you. In 1 Corinthians 10.13, it says, no temptation, talking about a testing, a trial, feeling pressured or scrutinized, has taken you, overtaken you, but such as is common to man. So he's saying that any time I do feel like that, it's common to everybody. But God is faithful. Notice it's saying God is faithful. It doesn't say God is guilty or God is the one causing it. And then he says, we will not suffer you to be tempted, to be tested, to be tried above what you're able but with all of that testing, that trial and all of those things, he will give you a way of escape that you can bear it. So notice that God is not the one causing it. God is the one who is giving you the way of escape out of it. So to answer the question, do you believe that God is trying to use testing or trial or suffering to get your attention? No, he is not. The Bible says that God clearly in James chapter 1 and 1 Corinthians 10 that God is not the one who does that. He doesn't tempt, test, try or put pressure on any man. And then in 1 Corinthians 10, it says that he's the one who is faithful, giving you the way of escape so that you can endure it. He is the answer to your problems. He's not the problem causer. And so to answer that question, I hope that you recognize that God is the one who is faithful. He is good. He's kind. He's a good shepherd, always trying to look out for you and not trying to hurt you in any way. In any way. So God bless you. And always remember... You are highly favored and deeply.